so that's pretty good. Let's take a look at our quests. Okay, so Snorpy was the Scoopy Doopy. You want a buffalo kiss, which we now know where it is, but I don't know how to catch one. Uh, heck, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't have a praying for Cantus yet. That's another one. I don't know how to catch it. Um, you were the one who wanted the Inchirito. Okay. Bunger? Oh, bunger, there's the other bunker. <laughs> bunger, bunger, bunger. Just gotta go through here. There we go. Bunger. <laughs> On my screen, that bunker is almost perfectly timed to the music, and it was really well done. Yeah, it's pretty much timed. I don't know if it, I don't know if it'll be timed for you guys, but I think that was Bethika. I'm sorry if I go kind of quiet during those loading screens, by the way. Um, that's kind of where I'm going to be splitting up for YouTube, just at like the 30 minute mark. So I always go quiet just so I'm not talking right through it. Okay, Inchirito for you. Everything okay? Yes, everything's good. Here you go. I planted your digging snack. You've done right by me, stranger. Thanks for sticking with me. Come back tomorrow. We'll see if this bears fruit. There we go. Sick man miss later. Um You had certain things you wanted donated. Let's go do some interviews. You again. Have time for an interview? I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. Um I wanna hear from the smartest grump in town. Ready well. If you insist, I will educate you. Here we go. Uh, who are you? I am Floofty Fizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. Uh, what is a gastroentomologist exactly? In baby language, I study bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. Every time I see Bunger, I think of that one vine where the guy has a cat in his hands and the one recorded start singing i don't know if i know that one brandon <laughs> why come to snack tooth island to study bug snacks obviously uh but you didn't know that bug snacks or what bug snacks were until you got here <sighs> when elizabeth megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality i observed something strange about her arm she was keeping it hidden but she displayed early stages of snackification that piqued my interest. Thoughts on bug snacks? You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you, you emotional parasite. Emotional parasite? Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. Obviously. <laughs> Why do you leave town? I simply wanted to continue my work, Egabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. Is it true that you eat grumpuses? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. <laughs> Why was there a severed leg in your hut? Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? Any info on Lisbert? The truth. <laughs> Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. What about Egabel? Egabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Who interfered? Shelda. That mummified fraud stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Egabel. 
scrambling her fragile emotions and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. So what happened? Ultimately, Agabel chose sentiment over science. And I surmise that was the death of her. Any final thoughts? Yes. I have the password to Agabel's personal storage box. It may be of interest to you. You've wasted enough of my time now. Leave. Uh, Flifty gave you a mysterious key. Check your drawing for details. Oh, Isabel, I could see that. I could see that. Share it to you on Discord for sure. For sure, feel free. Um. So, I'm just gonna mark off his new friends. Uh, mystery key. Flifty dismissively gave me this key. It seems to go with a mysterious box. Let's go see. I know a key is not a password. Thing is, though, we've already opened these two boxes. So, is there another one up here? I don't know where there might be another one. Um, I guess we'll see. Also, I heard something about a severed leg in Floofty's hut. Is there actually? Oh, no, no, don't sleep. <laughs> Level bun injury alert. Oh, ew, there is. Ew. Hey, how you doing? Gross. <laughs> okay, um. Where's Shelda? Shelda's gonna be the next person we gotta. We gotta talk with. Oh, hi. Oh, Shelda's back. Wiggle and Gramble are gonna be so stoked. Ah, oh, yes, one has returned from a great spiritual sojourn. So it is. One would really like to lie down. It sounds intense. I bet you're overflowing with wisdom now. Go ahead and lay it on me, Sheldog. Ah, oh, yes, uh, wisdom. Um. The strength you seek cannot be found within toxins, for the truest strength is the will to resist. Oh, I get it. I gotta check my snacks, and if they look toxic, I won't eat them. No, <laughs> one is not. You... Oh, clearly you need more guidance. Grump, yeah, I do. I'll bring the others, too. Oh, no. Oh, one is sure it will be enlightening. There we go. So, uh, Chandler really likes Shelda. Exactly. Better in their own place than in an outhouse. <laughs> oh, my God. Philbo is waving at me from all the way over there. <laughs> all right, let's do our interview with Shelda. Have time for an interview? When one asks questions... One may receive answers. Uh, who are you? One is called Shelda. A one who is me acts as a vessel for the will of Mother Nature. So it is. One maintains balance and purity. Ah, uh, why come to Snacky's Island? <gasps> a calling felt in the soul. Distant voices saying they need you. Free tickets won in a raffle. <laughs> Lizbert held a raffle? A, a raffle is a metaphor. Uh, but yes. Thoughts on bug snacks? The toxin. The mother abhors them in all their alluring forms. One feels them crawling around us, beneath us, inside us. Who is the mother, anyway? Mother Nature! The mother! She, the purest light, from whom all life flows. Uh, why do you leave town? One cast out they, the scion of toxins. Yet, lessons unlearned, the cravings only grew. 
So it was one journeyed far to isolate oneself and live by example. So it was one got very, very lost. <laughs> Any info on Lisbert? She, the Huntress, is gone from us. Strayed from the mother's path, chasing the healer's tainted love. Thrice were they warned, so this once you shall be warned. A doom befalls those who consume the toxin. Doom, can you be more specific? A doom of toxin unending. The ground shakes. The sky splits. Look not upon it. Move not an inch or be swallowed by the queen of venom. Or so I heard. <laughs> uh, you're a fraud, aren't you? Everyone is a fraud in a sense. <laughs> Thanks, that was all very unhelpful. Ever are more questions asked, seldom are more answers given. One must live content with the absence of knowing. Meditate on this. Shalda is such a weird character. A vessel of the unknown. Oh. May answers be found in its mystery. Shalda has a locked box and a key to open it. I wonder if that's the box we were missing, maybe? There we go. Oh, this is full of bug snack eyes and a video diary. So is this number five, I guess? Take a look, see. Video diary number five. Today is the day I, Elizabeth Megafig, solved the greatest mystery of this island. I found a door near the frosted peak. What could be behind it? I wonder. <sighs> Wait for me, Liz. Bill, what are you doing out here? Following you. Did you want to come with me? I thought it might be fun to hunt bug snacks together. I, uh, if that's all right with you. Then it'd be amazing. But maybe not today. This peak isn't for beginners. I've been practicing. I got Chandler to show me the ropes, bro. Uh. <laughs> Very impressive. I didn't know you were working out. I guess it's hard to see my muscles under the bug snacks. You really are changing, Bill. I'm sorry I was being so selfish. It's okay. I don't want apologies, worrying, any of it. I just want us to be together. And to see how much you're exaggerating about your dangerous work. <laughs> oh, really? Think it'll be a walk in the park, huh? That's right. And I bet I can even catch more book snacks than you. Woohoo! You're on. What's going on, Wiggle? Okay, there Aloha. we go. So there's a little bit more. Uh, pretty much the only way we've been hearing directly from Agabelle and Lisbert, which was the couple who've gone missing, is from those video diaries. And it definitely seems like there's a lot of stuff going on there. Um, but now we got access to that. Um, okay. So. I think. Let me talk to um, Jandlo, Flip Team, pick up any side quests, and then I think we might venture up the mountain. I really want to put off the Mackie roll. <laughs> what are you up to? Ah, you're here. I have need of your assistance again. Since my last discovery, I've been testing the limits of bug snack regeneration. Unfortunately, I've done all I can with this one leg. I want to try something rather more advanced. Put simply, I'm going to remove my head. You can't remove your head. Pardon me, I forgot your limitations. Remove as in cut off, head as in the thinky part. And I am reasonably certain that bug snacks will regrow it in its entirety. No, no. Indeed, perhaps I could do something more measured if I had a full team funding and a great deal more subjects. 
but as usual, nobody's volunteering. That shouldn't be an option. Fine, I can find more volunteers. Who? Oh, ready well. You're welcome to try. Ah, <laughs> uh, Bilbo, my How's buddy, my man. Will you help with Floopty's experiment? Um, I don't think I'd be any help in that department. Floofty said I was about as useful as a beaker without a bottom. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Come here, Chanlo. What's up, dude? Will you help with Floofty's experiment? After what they put Eggabel through? No way, bro. Okay. Snorby, your sibling. Come on now. Absolutely not. Whatever scheme my sibling put you up to, it certainly won't end well. Nope. All right. Wham. Right. Come here. Come here. I was gonna say Wambus. Gramble, I'm sorry, dude. No, 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 no thanks. That floofty shows up in my nightmares. Oh. Always watching me. Okay. Wambus. Howdy. Howdy. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everyone has this explanation. He just goes, nope, 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 not today. Not today. How you doing? What's going on, hey. Wiggle? Uh, will you help with Bluetooth's experiment? Darling, they once called me a vociferous profligate. I'm terribly insulted, though I have no idea what that even means. <laughs> uh, okay, but Bafika, though, girl, we, we can... You know, I don't even know where she is. Gosh darn, I would, I would give up Effica at least. Shelda? Speak not of the wicked alchemist. They who gladly hasten our doom. Alrighty, nope. Um, where's Effica? I want to donate her to science. Is she hanging out in people's houses again? Doing good? Yeah, we can just give up, Africa. We don't need her. Come here. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Why? Is Floofty looking for someone to snack on? LOL, JK, but seriously, no. LOL, JK. <laughs> okay, nope. I didn't even bother uh, asking Cromdo. Or Triffany. Greetings. Uh, no volunteers. As expected. My name alone is enough to frighten them off. Um, does that bother you? Hardly. It's not me they're truly afraid of. They give in to cowardice and ignorance because they cannot fathom the tremendous good that my research can do. Since I have failed time and again to change their minds, the burden rests on me to complete the work. Perhaps then they will understand its value. As for you, I require enough bug snacks to fully transform my body. Only the sweetest and most filling will be acceptable. Um, why is that? Consider it a personal request. This could be my last meal after all. <laughs> it just says fully transform, but do they not really care what they eat? You want some, some popsicles? Yum, yum, yum. They're not from my freezer, mind you, but... Intriguing. Polish. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh no. Uh maybe a soda? Yum, yum, yum. Intriguing. Oh, that's really cursed. Okay, it doesn't really seem to ca uh matter which one, so Spider. I'm just gonna put on everything and see if it works. Oh, that looks gross. Spidey. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, there Unbelievable. we go. Maybe an eggler somewhere in here? Intriguing. Oh, that gives you eggshell ears? Okay, yum, that's yum, kind yum. of funny. Oh, neat. Uh, an enchirito, maybe? So your teeth have already been done. Unbelievable. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. 
Okay, so now let me do the body. And they're fully changed. Very good. You're actually being useful. I have a few more preparations to make. The experiment will begin in 24 hours. Uh, no. I no, no. I patent and Grappinati traps and made some modifications. Once the device is activated, snacks will flow into my open mouth, thus triggering my regeneration. This is terrifying. Yes, I surmise that is why I am inside the device and you are not. I need you to load the funnel at the back and then we can begin. Uh, no. <laughs> How many you need? Do you want a burrito? Oh dear. Thank you, you Snorpy. Stop to this nonsense right now. Snorpington, here to sabotage my career again. Sabotage? I'm trying to save your life. Nonsense. If my hypothesis is correct, I will be perfectly fine and I will have advanced medical knowledge by a century. And if you're wrong, you'll be headless. Even after everything you've done, I still care about you, Flutie. Don't try to infect me with your cowardice. What you should care about is my work. That is what is truly important. You are important. Despite your rampaging ego, the world will go on with or without your experiments. I would think you at least would understand. Instead, you insist on being a selfish, spineless, slack-jawed baby. See, this is why nobody wants to help you. That's another point for Snorpy. This is why we love him. Hey, Mossy Fox, I'm good. How are you doing? It's pitiful, isn't it? <sighs> I can really inch fibrous tissue with electrostatic waves, but I cannot convince my own brother to help me. My work should stand for itself. I shouldn't need to put so much effort into explaining myself. But it does take effort. With the others, it is simple. I can write them off as ignorant, frightened children. <sighs> but not Snorpy. I know he's not a coward or a fool, which means that the error is mine. I cannot make myself understood. So I lose patience. And I give up on understanding. And perhaps that is cowardice on my part. There we go. Hooray! That was a lot. And I'm... I remember that quest with them from last time, and it's just... <sighs> okay, apparently Shelda has a quest for us, but I kind of want to change Flufty into, like, everything of one type. I don't know exactly what I want to change her, or them into. Oh, hello. Um, do you guys want to see them be a full popsicle or burrito? Um, egg. I make them a full egg. A full noodler. Full sody. Do you guys have any recommend? Like, what do you want? A full eggler? Eggler? Okay. Oh, this is... <laughs> Cursed! Yeah, that should be everything. <laughs> Cursed. A plus. <laughs> I'd love it. Um, they look nude and muscular from far away. They do. <laughs> Uh, want something, uh, pepper. Trial of Fiber 1 heated up 30 seconds of micro. Yes, yes, I've done that. I actually had it with a uh, low calorie Cool Whip, which is really good, but probably not good for you, but like low calorie, so I don't really care too much. Uh, I've done that before. Also, Pepper, thank you so much for getting that sub to Max. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. My goodness. Okay. 
I gotta visit Wambus later. Can I do it like now? No? Maybe. Let's go talk to Shelda. Yes, child. Uh, what's up, Shelda? You who continues to spread the toxin's dark influence are lost. But one will guide you to the true path. Behold! The box of purity! I remember this. Those box nuts placed inside shall be purged by the light of Mother Nature. Make an offering to the box. Show that you are willing to walk this path. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a strawby in. This is going to be very funny. I made an offering to the box. A wise choice was made. So it is. The light that shines within darkness shines brightest over all. That's some Kingdom Hearts nonsense. Meditate on this and return one day hence. So remember, we gave her a strawby, okay? We gave her a strawby. I'm gonna go sleep. And I'm very... <laughs> I remember being so shocked at this. I wasn't expecting it. I guess Sheldon must be good with Gramble, yeah. Okay. Oh. Dear Lord. Um. <laughs> I just would like to note Shelda's arm. What's up? I love you so What's much. Up? I love you so much, and you said it twice. What's up? Three times the charm. <laughs> Hi, Shelda. That is called Chandler teeters on the path, and yours is the wind that topples. Okay, so she doesn't want to talk life. about it just yet, but. Well, they came out of the ground all right. Guess I didn't bury them deep enough. Uh, are you gonna try again? What am I supposed to do if even I don't believe in me? I didn't come to this island to be free or to live off the land. I'm here because I couldn't make it over there. Deep down, I'm a failure. You're being too hard on yourself. It's all right. I knew it all along. Well, I still got my sauce. It's not bug snacks, but it's not nothing. Maybe I'm just stubborn enough to call that a there we go. Okay. I'm just gonna grab all the sauces I might need. I gotta get in the habit of doing that before we head out, because I was like running low on sauces that I shouldn't be running low on. There we go. Um. Oh. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, uh, main quest, we need to head up to the mountain here soon. Uh, we've got pretty much all the Grumpuses, we're just missing the one. Uh, we need to catch a Scoopy Banoopy, we need to catch the Buffalo Kiss, I gotta figure that out. Um, we're leaving that for last. Uh, you also want a Scoopy Banoopy and a Praying Picantus. Pokemon Trainer Red Beyond the Mountain. Oh, there's going to be a lot of stuff up there. I'll tell you that much. Um, and how's our bug snack? So we finished Garden Grove. We've almost finished Lever Falls. Um, we're getting there on Simmering Springs, but we missed something. Boiling Bay could use some work. Uh, Scorch Sands. We just need to catch the Scorpenio. Uh... Oh wait, no, I lie, there's more. We haven't seen this, and we haven't seen that. <laughs> and then Sizzling Sands. Um, there's actually a lot here that I have no idea how to catch. And we finished Sugar Pine Woods. <laughs> so that's actually a really productive day. Guys, I think I am actually going to wrap up a little bit early here. I'm just, can I take a seat? I can't.
can't sit. Okay, I'm gonna pretend that I'm sitting. There we go. Um, thank you guys so, so very much for watching. If you guys would like, I'm gonna go ahead and raid someone. We had, I know, 10 minutes early, right? We had uh, a nice big raid earlier. Actually, we had a couple of raids earlier, which is super nice. Who should we go hang out with today? Let's go hang out with uh, Rosnessa. She's streaming some Stardew. Uh, and I think she's doing the community center in one year, which is always kind of fun. Yeah, let's go do that. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you were new and you want to drop that follow, I stream every day except for Thursdays and Fridays. Tomorrow is not more bug snacks. We're actually switching back over to Kingdom Hearts and we're going to finish Sora's story in Rechain of Memories. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, let's get this raid going. Copy down the raid message, you guys. Thank you so, so very much. I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow morning. If not, I'll see you when I see you. And um, yeah, have an amazing rest of your day, everyone.